Hello and welcome, this is Michael from Economy and this is the second episode on the eViews tutorials. In this episode we'll be on transforming your data when in the eViews program. As you can see we have the time series data from the previous video and the first little comment I'd like to make is that the names we have here are way too long for what we want to be doing in this file so what we'd like to do is rename them as something that you can remember easily so what you do is you right click go down to rename as you can see here you can just name it whatever you want I'm just going to name it CO2 as it is CO2 emissions and as you can see here it will keep the original name of this indicator for use on tables and graphs and everything it's an optional thing it states there we'd like to keep that there uh, as a fail safe you still will have it on your excel file here so we don't need to worry about losing it at all back to the file if we just rename all of these quickly it will save a lot of time when typing out your regressions so just name that fossil gdp and pop for population the first thing about transforming your data, we will be looking a lot at this gener button here, short for generate. As you can see, click it, you can generate a series by equation. This will add a new series to your work file here. So the first thing we'll be looking at here is how to take logarithms of your existing series. So with this work file, I'll be wanting to take the log of GDP. So first thing you do is just create a name for this new series, why is LN GDP and then equal sign you say log and in brackets but GDP or whatever you have named your series from before as you can see on eViews 8 a drop down list comes up of all the existing series and then once you're done with that just click OK as you can see LN GDP has come up here. These are the logarithms of my GDP series. Next, we will look quickly at differences. So, once again, you go to generate and you will type in whatever you want to call it. Mine will be GDP difference or first difference, so D1 equals, and to get the first difference, all you do is put D before the brackets in there, GDP click OK and here we go you have the first difference obviously 2001 there isn't a previous entry so that stays as non applicable and these are the differences of the rest of them we can close that down and to get a second difference or any number of differences that you'd like what you do is a similar sort of process so let's name it GDP D2 equals d gdp and what you want to do is put a comma then a two or whatever number of difference you want to find and you click ok and it will again create it as you can see two na's because there isn't two differences before then and that's it that's how you create those the next type of transformation you can do to your data is to create powers of your original series so right now you go to generate here we're going to make GDP squared so again just name it anything you'd like mine's GDP2 equals GDP then you get the power sign and 2 and it's that simple click OK and here we go we've got the squares of the GDPs it works the same for any sort of power so GDP3 equals GDP to the power of 3 and then we'll have our cube values for GDP right here and the final type of data transformation we'll be looking at today is division between series in this instance we'll be creating a new series GDP per capita so we'll type in GDP PC per capita equals GDP and use a division sign 
um, pop population there. And if you know your mass, which I'm sure you will, you know that it's just GDP divided by population equals GDP per capita. I'd like to point out that the process is similar for multiplication as well, where all you'd have to do is name it whatever. So GDP pop equals GDP times population. And that would come in useful if, say, you had GDP per capita figures and you'd like to create a total GDP series, you would use this multiplication here. That will click cancel. And thank you again for watching this video. Um, please, if you like, click like, click subscribe, and we'll see you soon for the next video.